But then HIV AIDS was an issue that everybody if could align with, then you'd be relevant in, in the society. Mm -hmm. And we couple up the activities of HIV AIDS with, with the theatrics. Mm -hmm. We used to do theatre mm -hmm. for peer education. The, we started having a disconnect because the group was actually formed on the suspicion of championing fight against HIV AIDS. And here we, here we have changed the directions. Mm -hmm. We're now towards livelihood, loans, savings. Mm -hmm. And you could just tell people, join, this is your book, this is an evidence that you're serving with us. This is an evidence that you've given me money, you've signed. Our able treasurer, me has always in peace, mercy. And, and then every, every Saturday, we're meeting every Saturday in the afternoon, we started thinking about renting an office to, to serve as, as, as office. Because you know, if an organization that collects people's money, you must have a reference point physical location. So again, there, as we continue empowering federation, ideas used, just used to come in. There was a day that was so challenging that uh, one of our collectors went to collect money to, to a member, and the member was sick. The member had nothing to eat, and the member had really saved actually 700 shillings. So this collector just came after collection at night and you are sitting and say I went to Mama uh, to Mama Sophie and I found her very sick and I found the children there they don't even have food what can we do then we started contributing from our own pocket so later in the meeting we came and uh, and introduced this product like anybody can withdraw their money at their doorstep you can't afford a meal for that night why would you save her and you can't eat so, so we created that product and the books were again uh, drawn in the systemic way that anybody can withdraw. So that day when there's a withdrawal, the collector will indicate that there's a withdrawal by this person. She had one of the collectors was a little bit wrong. And we will say that this person had withdrawn. So this person has saved. So, so because we are dealing with the old people, so the person just sign where he's supposed to sign. You know, if you look at the figures. So according to the collector's book that's with the drone, but according to the saver's book, there was no indication for the drone. It was that indication that the saver has saved 20 shillings, but have not withdrawn anything. But here, in the, in, the, in, in the collector book, it was indicating the saver has saved 20 and with the drone 100. So when you come to contact check, like every week, we'll read to everyone their savings, then the person the conflict was still arising. Our moms, our dads, will now say, ah, these youths are now, if they start doing this thing, these youths are now coming. They need some control. And I said, okay, me as a, as a leader, we don't actually lock leadership. If there's a need for, for actually uh, opening up for other people to engage, then we are ready. And we did open. Now again, you already have a huge number of savings, like almost, because we are giving loans and people are repaying every day. So we had a huge, we have built a huge number of savings, and you secured a bank account, a commercial bank account with cooperative bank. We are now in the formal banking. So we open up and they say, okay, we want you, the mature people, to get these savings and loan component of our group. We even gave, uh, gave up our signing mandate in the bank to them. So, so, so from then, the money that you collect in the bank account keep on running in terms of being issued as loans. 